like every time I film, I'm always in this shirt. Hey guys, my name is Lily and welcome back to my channel. So, I've read five books by the time you're seeing, well, by the time you're seeing this, it's probably been like seven, but I'm filming this on Tuesday. You're seeing it on Saturday, hopefully, if all goes to plan. But I have read five books so far in June, and I'm going to talk about those five books. That's what Recent Reads is about. Yeah. It's been an interesting day. <laughs> Even though it's like freaking 1.30. Anyway, um, let's just get right into the video. So the first book I finished in June was Dear Sweet Pea by Julie Murphy. I absolutely adored this book. Um, this book was just amazing. It's a middle grade a book that deals with um, the main character, Sweet Pea, um, or Patricia. Her parents are divorced and they live in two houses, two identical houses on the same street. Um, the only thing that's separating the houses is the uh, neighbor in between them. And um, it also deals with uh, main char it has fat rep because the main character is, yeah, that, um, I don't know why I said that so weird, but it's just so much more than what I just told you. It is just amazing. There are so many more layers. Um, there's, uh, gay rep, definitely gay rep, <laughs> but, um, I absolutely adore this book. I gave this eight out of five stars. I can't. Um, absolutely adore this book. Definitely one of my new time, new time words, new favorites. What are words anymore? Anyway, the next book I finished or read was Truly Devious by Maureen Johnson. Mm, I read this for the secret vlog where me and Katie bought, bought each other books and made the other person read them. That makes sense. Um, I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it. But, um... Yeah, I love this book. This follows two timelines, um, but, I mean, so, it follows a timeline where we're in 1936, where this academy called Ellingham Academy is, is a thing, words, and when a student there, a daughter, gets murdered, and the owner, Albert Ellingham, his wife and child go missing, they get kidnapped. And so they're trying to, like, do all these things and try to stop whatever's happening in 1936. And then it flashes to present day, where we follow Stevie Bell, who has got accepted into the Ellingham Academy because of her interest in the case. Yeah. I love this book. Um, Katie nailed it with this. This was 5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely adored it. Um, yeah. There's a lot of tabs in here. Um, but just, like... I cried and was mad and uh, yelled and screamed and cried some more. <laughs> um, but I love this book. There's four sad tabs, but like I cried on those four sad tabs. But yeah, I absolutely adored this book. It was just such an amazing book, and I definitely recommend it. I was very scared going into it because like, what if I'm not gonna like it? I mean, I'm scared. I need the sequel. And like the last six words of the entire book was just like, what? Yeah. That was crazy. If you read it out of context, you're not going to know what it means until you read, like, until you understand. Until you read the book, you're not going to understand the context behind the six words. Anyway, the next book I read was The One and Only Bob by Catherine Applegate. This is the sequel or companion novel to The One and Only Ivan. So, it just follows a Bob from a, the one and only Ivan, which is the dog, who's adorable. Um, yeah, I don't really have, I read, I gave this four to five stars. It was very cute, and I think if you really like the one and only Ivan, you will like this a lot. I don't really have many thoughts on it, but. The next one. I read it. I did it. I read Frostheart by Jamie Littler. I read this for Myth Taker as long, uh, I read Truly Divish for Myth Take Two. I read this for Dark Cover. Dark cover, it's a dark cover. Sorry, I don't know why I did that. Then it's a light cover. Anyway, I love this book. Especially, I didn't tab it. I tabbed these two parts because one is, um, 
floundering fish farts, and I just, I loved that. And then one was a frozen heart, and Anna <laughs> from Frozen. I need help. But yeah, this follows a boy named Ash in a fantasy world. And that's all I'm going to tell you because I did. That's all I knew. I mean, I kind of, I mean, I knew there were monsters called Leviathans, but. Also, and this is the ship, the Frost Heart, but it looks like Moana's ship with an extra sail. But yeah, this is one of Gavin from Gavin ha from How to Train Your Gavin's favorite middle grade books of all time. He absolutely adored this book. And I am so excited because the next book is called Escape from Aurora. And I'm very intrigued of why they want to escape. I'm very, very intrigued. Yeah. And Luna is the queen. Luna is everything in this book. Luna is amazing. I love her. She's this, like, she's just amazing. And she also talks like Hagrid, so she's like Yur and stuff like that. And I love when characters, I love characters to do that. And I expected, like, one thing, and then that happened, and then that happened. Before that, that happened. I was just like, whoa, like, what? No. Hmm. It was full of plot twists. I just love this book. And me and Katie have come to the conclusion that this is Agnes from Super Me and Nico from Nick from Percy Jackson next together. Yeah, I don't know. We're weird. But yeah, loved, loved, loved this book. It's gonna be a short video. But that's fine. I like short video. Anyway, and the Last book in this video I'm going to talk about, I I read like mainly in a day. It's 400 pages and I was on page 80. That, I think, was it, no, it was Saturday. Or is it Sunday? I think it was Sunday. I have no idea. But that is Furthermore by Tahara Mafi. Um, if you recognize Tahara Mafi and you don't know Tahara words, Tahara Mafi, and you don't recognize like what book? She's the author of Shadow Me. This is about, this is like a fun little read about a girl named Alice who in this world full of cover, color, cover, not cover, color. What are words? Color, it, like everyone loves color. It's a huge part of this world. She is colorless. She is that. She's that. Um, mm, this book was so cute. And I just, I listened to this mainly on audiobook, like, by mainly, I mean all of that that I just showed you. All of that. Yeah. I listened to it on two dump speed, and I listened to this while playing Animal Crossing. Yeah. I am addicted to Animal Crossing, and I think I'm too addicted. And I want to go upstairs and get it. I can't fly, though. If only I could fly, that'd be awesome. Anyway. But yeah, this was just so amazing, and I loved the fact that... Um, Oliver and Alice hate each other. They utterly despise each other at the beginning of the book. Like, the first half of the book, or three quarters, they hate each other. And I loved that aspect, because it just made everything so much more interesting. Because she was like, I don't listen to you. I don't like you. And he's like, listen to me. I know what, you, what we're doing, and shut up. <laughs> I just love it. I just, oh, I loved it, this book. Mm, and I get why it's called Furthermore. And I get why there's a ruler. And I get why there's a book. Of I get the cover now. And it's nice. Paper Fox. Paper Fox. We love the Paper Fox. But I just loved this book. I thought it was just so creative. And so just imaginative. And, and Tahara Mafi's writing is just beautiful. Um, Speaking of Tahara Mafi. Not Mafi words. Uh, Katie was just like spoiled and raveling for me. And now I'm going to go read Ravenly. So... Eventually, I don't know when. I need the book first. But that was... Anyway. <laughs> but I love this book. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely adored it. Would definitely recommend if you want, like, a fun book to read. And, um, Katie was like, this book is me never... Like, before, this was also... This was the other book in the secret vlog. And she was like, the book is like... Um, before she accidentally told me, she was like, it sounds like Nevermore, and it gives me vibes of Nevermore. Me being the stupid person I am, didn't put together Furthermore. I didn't even, I forgot this was a book. 
and it does give me such Nevermore vibes. If you love Nevermore, you most likely will love this. There is like, it's called it's something called the Surrender, which definitely reminds me of Nevermore, of the um, show trial at the end of Nevermore. Definitely reminds me of that. So yeah. So if you like Nevermore, you most likely will like this book. But those are the five books that I've read recently. Um, yeah, I don't like wrap-ups, so I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If what are you, what are the most recent books you read and absolutely adored? But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.